All right, so it looks like they just announced a new VR headset. I love VR stuff, I'm a big VR guy. It was kind of, it was leaked earlier this morning, but nobody really knew if it was like the guy. Uh, and it looks like it was the guy. This is the leak that happened earlier this morning. It's a patent, Mark for Streamer trademark, is a trademark registration. So this leak happened earlier this morning. It looks like it's actually been announced, so it's real. Watch our jazzy announcement video on Wishlist now. Wish list, wish list, wish list. So there's a brand new Steam VR headset. It looks like there's no cables. Okay, so the first thing you notice is there's no cables, which is a big change from the old like Valve Index. So I have a Valve Index and I have a MetaQuest 3 and a 3S. The MetaQuest 3, no cables, completely wireless, all that. The Valve Index still has a bunch of cables. It still has the box. You have the light stands or whatever they're called. The old Valve Index, whenever it came out, was absolutely incredible. It was phenomenal. I played Half-Life Alex when it came out. It was super fun. It was, I mean, it was revolutionary. It was far and away the best headset. But then Meta came out with the Meta Quest. It was Oculus Rift. Really, Oculus Rift was like the first one, and then Valve Index came in to compete. Meta Facebook buys Oculus, I believe it was what it was, and then it becomes the Meta Quest instead of the Oculus Rift, Oculus Quest, Meta Quest. Uh, so the Meta Quest 3, super good headset. I use the Meta Quest all the time, right? Whenever, that's like, that's my main VR headset now. So having a competitor that competes on the level of the, the meta quest from valve is a huge deal because the portability of the meta quest is what makes it so cool i mean i do i've literally i've been on airplanes and seen somebody wear a meta quest on an airplane one time and i was like you know what i think it was a meta quest 3s that they had on an airplane and i'm like you know what that's pretty sick actually that it's portable enough that you can just take a vr headset and you can like watch movies or whatever on it with all that being said let's take a look at this new headset from valve uh, it's coming in 2026 with a steam controller, steam machine, steam frame. Wait, wait, oh wait, hold on, this is three different things. Wait, I have this old steam controller and steam machine? Hold on, this is crazy. But I gotta tell you this, this controller, I have one in, I have one downstairs. I found it the other day. I'll show you guys mine. This is a steam controller. This came out in 2015 and somehow I still have it. So I bought this. Years and years ago, whenever Steam announced it, before I started streaming, actually. But it kind of sucked. Games are experiences, and how you play can be just as important as what you play. For too long, players have had to choose between the precision of a mouse or the familiarity of a controller, between the power of a PC and the comfort of the couch. But why shouldn't you get to have both? The Steam controller isn't just a gamepad. It's a passport that brings thousands of games previously only playable with a keyboard and mouse to the comfort of your couch. Using one-to-one -one positioning, the Steam controller can virtualize familiar controls like a trackball, a mouse, or a scroll wheel. You can also effortlessly type from the couch. We've tossed out hunting letters with a cursor and made surfing the web as easy as texting your friends. PC gaming is all about options. The Witcher. And that's why you can so, customize everything about your I never actually, like, I bought this basis. controller and I was like, wow, this Don't controller have time sucks. To figure out the perfect layout on your own. Your so they're coming out with again. a new version of this 10 years later. I didn't really like the layout of this. This is the original. So it's it's got like a pad here, like a thumb pad. You didn't have an actual D-pad. It has this to like replace a mouse. Or if you're using buttons, the buttons are here. So this is like super non-ergonomic. Like I think they really didn't want to make it look like an Xbox controller. And I think they kind of blew it by doing that. Taking a look at everything. The new VR headset, there's a Steam machine and there's a Steam controller. Let's take a look at the Steam controller now. The new one. So this is what the new one looks like. Steam controller. Much better. Just looking at this right away, you have, you basically flip these. Where you flip, first off, it has an actual D-pad. That's nice. And then you go with this. And this is kind of like a more traditional type of setup. It looks kind of like a hybrid, like PS5 right here. This is a very PS5 setup with two like thumb pads. Plug and play with the Steam controller puck, okay? One puck, two jobs. Wireless transmitter, press fast sale connection and also a charging station, that's cool. Uh, magnetic thumbsticks uh, for improved feel, cool. Track pads, motion control, grip buttons. This had grip buttons too, the original had, had, had one grip button on each side. I never really liked the grip buttons, but you know, I, I know like people who are like controller gamers use grip buttons a lot. Steam controller plays well wherever Steam is. With anything running Steam, it works with the Steam Deck. Works with your Steam frame, so if you're gonna have a, if you're gonna use the VR headset as a controller for that too, and the Steam machine, which we haven't learned about yet, but we're gonna take a look at that too. The controller looks kind of sick. I mean, I, I'm gonna get one, right? Like I, 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 like anything that Steam comes out with like this, I'm gonna buy and I'm gonna open and, and I'll like, because I, I want to know about it, right? The Steam frame. Let's look at the Steam frame. 
So I have a valve index. It's in a box. My valve index is in a box in my closet right now. I could get it out and show it to you, but there's so many cables and there's so much tangled in there that I don't really want to pull it out and, and deal with that whole mess, you know? Which is the whole problem with what the valve index is, especially after you've used something like a MetaQuest. Designed for comfort, easy to use. This is just way better, man. Like VR headset, you can't have a VR headset with all those cables anymore. No setup required, four high resolution monochrome cameras. Provide controller and headset tracking. Infrared LEDs on the outside make tracking great, even in dark environments. That's one of the things with, with uh, the MetaQuest 3, if it's too dark, it's not really very, actually it's not that bad, to be honest. But it tells you, hey, you need more light constantly. Uh, jump right into your games, just wake up with the headset and you're gaming, no fuss, no setup, just games. Who wants pancakes? Thin and custom pancake lenses provide edge-to-edge -edge sharpness in a large eye box. Optics featuring 2160 by 2160 LCD panels, one per eye. Supported refresh rates are 72 to 144 hertz. Okay, that's nice. I mean, I think the MetaQuest has good lenses, but this is even bigger. Man, dude. Oh, this is actually so sick that Valve is doing this because I think the competition between Meta and Valve on headsets is gonna be sick. I really do think. It's, oh, it plays well wherever Steam is. Dude, I think Steam has done such a good job with this stuff, man. I think Steam owns. Gaben, like, I feel like Gabe Newell, I know it's a meme, like, Gaben, like, you know, oh, just, just swipe, just this, you know, oh, just one more, whatever, right? But in reality, Steam does such a good job of being non-predatory in gaming in a, in a world where I feel like every time a new platform comes up, they try and be as predatory as possible. And I think that Steam is overwhelmingly fair. All things considered, Steam is overwhelmingly fair to both like devs and giving games opportunity. Think about how many of these indie games just like randomly pop off on Steam, right? You'll get, have games with one developer. Look at a Megabonk, right? Megabonk, one developer and it pops off, it ends up being huge, you know? And this is all the specs for the headset, so kind of going back to the headset. 16 gigs of RAM, oh, 256 and one terabyte storage option, and micro SD card slot for expanded storage. 21.6 watt hour lithium ion battery, one USB 2.0 port in the rear for charging of data, and you can charge with USB-C 45 watts, okay? So that's, that's like pretty fast charging, uh, very fast actually. Head strap includes integrated audio drivers, uh, dual audio driver, integrated audio, dual audio drivers, and a rechargeable battery on the rear. Oh, the modular head strap. Okay, so that's similar to, um, that's similar to, oh wait, no, is that just one? So the MetaQuest has like a, a, a secondary battery that you can get and put on the back. I think this thing looks sick. That's the headset. Now, what is the Steam machine? Your games, your powerful PC gaming made easy in a small and mighty package. Is this supposed to be for like a projector for your PC games? Or is it a computer? Your Steam library in more places. With over six times the horsepower of a Steam Deck, Steam Machine has the power to play your whole Steam library, including your favorite AAA titles. Sign in with your Steam account and your entire library is there. Steam OS, small form factor. So I actually bought a second Steam Deck to put under my computer, put under my, my living room TV. So is it just like a mini PC for Steam OS? Because if that's what that is, I'm, I want this Amazing, because I, I was actually thinking about putting a computer in my living room because I was like, I don't know if this Steam Deck is powerful enough. It's basically a Steam console. So this is more powerful than the Steam Deck. Let's see, cool and quiet, IO for days, ready for all peripherals and monitors you can throw out at one gigabit ethernet, that's okay. I wish it was faster than that. I wish it was a hundred gigabit and I could just download the internet all at once. Display port, 1.4, HDMI 2.0. Wait, what? Isn't this kind of old? Like I feel like, I feel like this is all old. Like, I think this should be 2.5. HDMI is 2.0 is, yeah, newest display port is 2.1, and the newest HDMI is 2.2. Most people's TVs won't have that though. Yeah, but there's, there's no way there's that big of a cost difference. Especially a lot of TVs are like 4K. I mean, a lot of TVs now are like 8K 120. So like, I feel like 4K, 4K 120 should not be crazy. 120 Hertz is gonna be standard soon. I mean, I just feel like you need to make a product to, to future-proof it. Oh my gosh, you're right, I forgot. Okay, HDMI is, is, is super cringe. All this stuff is super cringe, and you need to get licensing for it. I totally forgot this was even a thing. So apparently they couldn't get licensing for HDMI, and they didn't want to open source the HDMI for Linux. 
4K gaming at 60 FPS with FSR thanks to a discrete semi-custom AMD desktop class CPU and GPU. So here's the thing. I think it should be 4K at 120. Should have been the goal. 4K 60 is fine. I think they should have I think they should have tried for 4K 120 because there's a lot of 8K 120 TVs now. Connectivity, power, no giant bricks, steam machines, power supplies built right in. Dude, power has gotten insane, man. Like just USB-C power in general. Like USB-C is, is amazing. So we've looked at the Steam Machine, we've looked at the new Steam Controller. Is the only one they did a video for the frame? Because I think we should watch this. Hey everyone, this hey. is Steam Deck. Steam Deck is our powerful, portable, handheld gaming PC that lets you take your Steam library with you anywhere. We're pretty proud of it. People who own Steam Decks have been playing everywhere, and we couldn't be happier with the response we've heard from all of you. We're excited to talk about the future of Steam Deck, but not today. Because this isn't a video about the future of Steam Deck. This okay. is a video about the future of Steam hardware. Today, we're announcing three new members of the Steam hardware lineup. All connect you with powerful PC gaming. All are optimized for gaming with Steam. And all are shipping in early 2026. Let's start with okay. this one. Oh, this is a video on everything. Okay. This is the new Steam Controller. The new Steam Controller puts all of your Steam games at your fingertips so you can play wherever and however you want. Just like with Steam Deck, we want you to be able to play any game with your Steam Controller, even games never built with a controller in mind. It has all the great features from Steam Velocero Deck. Velocero was built with a controller in mind? Track pads, gyro, and back buttons, all in a comfortable form factor. Its next generation magnetic thumbsticks let you play with improved Dude, responsiveness very and longevity. We put capacitive touch sensors on the thumbsticks I have the and now on the back of the controller right too. Here. So you can enable precision gyro aiming with the touch of your thumb or your pinky if you're feeling fancy. I actually don't like play that. Play for way too I, I, I long know some with people the like, rechargeable like lithium-ion battery like, I don't that allows like for over 35 of like hours any sort of, of extra fine tuning With and Steam like Controller, in a game, we want to make charging and yeah. wireless pairing something that's actually easy. That's why we created the Puck. The Puck is a combination wireless adapter and magnetic charger included with every Steam controller. Yeah, it's, it's snap your it on to charge. It? <laughs> Once you're charged up, snap it off again. You can play over Bluetooth or a wired connection too. The new Steam controller works with any device running Steam or Steam Link, whether it's a PC, Mac, handheld, smartphone, Steam Deck, or the new Steam machine. Oh, by the way, this reminds oh, me, Corsair. This sent is the me new a, Steam machine. Uh, their new hitbox. They're uh, they're leverless. Anonymous with a five gifted Charles Miss thing for the new sub. Steam Machine is a powerful gaming PC in a small but mighty package, designed for your games on the big screen. It's quiet too, which is crazy since it's six times more powerful than a Steam Deck. Powered by a discreet, semi-custom AMD GPU, okay. enabling 4K gaming at 60 frames per second with FSR. Steam Machine runs SteamOS, Steam Machine made for a name. bigger screen. Built for gaming in your living room, mean your machine. office, mean or wherever machine. you play, with the rest of your PC accessories. Steam Machine borrows some great features from Steam Deck, like lightning fast sleep and wake, an SD card slot to easily expand your storage. That's good. I mean, I haven't it brings some new tricks of its good. own like a customizable LED strip, which can show different system functionalities, or your own light show. Steam Machine is a PC, so run whatever software you want, and it works with all your favorite desktop and gaming accessories. Steam Machine is designed to work hand-in-hand -in -hand with the Steam Controller, with the low-latency, wireless connectivity of the Steam Controller puck built right in. And it's great for streaming your games to your phone, tablet, laptop, Steam Deck, or Steam Frame. Oh, yep. This is Steam Frame. This is the big boy. I think Steam Machine is big too, but this is like the big boy. Because now you have a legitimate competitor Steam Frame to Meta is Quest. Valve's next generation VR hardware. Uh, Stream the all your Steam games, VR and non-VR alike, in this comfortable, lightweight, wireless VR headset. Steam Frame uses camera-based tracking, like so getting into your games is as easy as slipping on the headset and waking it up. Steam Frame controllers, included with the headset, are designed with all the inputs you need for your VR titles, like motion controls and capacitive tracking for all your fingers, this has as more well buttons. as a split gamepad layout to work with your whole Steam library. They even feature the same magnetic thumbsticks as Steam Controller for responsiveness and longevity. Steam Frame also pairs seamlessly with the new Steam Controller, a great companion for playing non-VR games in the headset. To make sure streaming is smooth and stable no matter what, 
Steam Frame includes a wireless adapter that lets you stream your games from your PC to your headset over a fast and wow. dedicated Wi-Fi okay. 6 connection. And the game is streamed to your frame optimized for VR using new technology that allows for the highest resolution streaming exactly where your eyes are looking. Oh, and dude, Steam Frame okay, so that's what you're talking about. That's sick. That is big time. Because essentially what it's doing, it's, it's doing a um, quantization parameter. I think that's what's happening. I think it's like it looks at where your eyes look and it, and it focuses more bitrate onto that. Connection. And the game is streamed to your frame optimized for VR using new technology that allows for the highest resolution streaming exactly where your eyes are looking. And yeah, Steam like Frame that's, is that's a PC sick. That's huge. running Steam OS. In addition to streaming, you can install and play a bunch of VR and non-VR games right in the headset without a host PC. You can also expand your onboard storage to fit even more games with a micro SD card. Steam controller, Steam yeah. machine, and Steam frame. Really all good. All built with the same DNA as Steam Deck. All powered by Steam, work together, and can be used however you'd like with whatever peripherals and accessories you choose. Everything you see here is the culmination of what we've learned from our previous hardware experience and what we've wanted ourselves as gamers. Powerful PC gaming in an open ecosystem, giving you more ways to enjoy the games you love and discover new ones. Steam Controller, Steam Machine, and Steam Frame are all shipping in early 2026. Learn more at steampowered.com slash hardware. Steam Phone, Steam TV, then Steam Bank Account. Gay Ben? The Steam Bank Account. Dude, this is hype. Can you use a PS5 controller the Steam Machine? You should be able to, because it's Steam OS and you can do that now. But this is sick. Can I get a Steam girlfriend? No, but you can look at the bottom of the just chatting instruction for that usually. Um, look, I think this looks badass. Like, this is actually so sick. Steam frame, Steam machine, the new Steam controller, we'll see. I mean, it, it looks like it's like a PS5 controller at the top. Pretty exciting, man. Like, I, I'm gonna buy all these. And I wanna, I wanna buy all these and I'll, and I'll try them out and I'll show you guys on stream, right? Especially for my downstairs, my living room gaming setup, like the, the when we do game nights and stuff. So guys, I hope you guys are as excited about the Steam stuff as I am. Uh, the new Steam machine, the Steam frame, the new Steam controller, and then they have some updates for the Steam Deck coming that they didn't talk about today. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do all kinds of stuff here, IRL gaming, like kind of the cross section of IRL gaming, sports, whatever it is. Everything is SFAN TV, SFAN TV is everything. I do it all, all that stuff, right? YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Kick. Uh, MySpace, uh, Facebook, uh, Christian Mingle, Black People Meet, uh, whatever it is, everything is SFAN TV. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.